All right, guys, Darren from FBA Elite, and welcome back to another video. So I am losing faith in Amazon. Let me explain. So there are three reasons, in my view, that people buy it from Amazon and why Amazon are so successful. Number one is convenience, you know, getting products delivered next day. There's no one really that competes with that in the UK. So many people are happy to use Amazon as their first port of call. That's where their shopping experience starts and ends. They often don't even venture onto other e-commerce websites or onto Google to search for other sites. So the first one is convenience because no one can compete with Prime. Um, two is price point. Now, Amazon aren't always the cheapest, but they're often very competitive. And due to the convenience factor, people will often pay a little bit more to buy from Amazon. And also, from a customer perspective, Amazon is seen to have good customer service and the returns process is usually straightforward for most people. But the third reason that people shop on Amazon, and especially for me, this is one of the reasons that I shop on Amazon, and that is the product reviews. Even if I'm buying off of Amazon, I'll often go onto Amazon to read product reviews to get an idea of what people really think of that product. And that is where I'm losing faith. And if you're new to the channel, what I'm gonna show you in this video may shock you because I just am absolutely baffled that this still goes on. And in 2023, with all of the information that Amazon has, with how complicated they make the sign-up process for new seller accounts, and all the data they have from probably millions and millions of transactions and reviews, that they can't put algorithms in place to detect and stop what I'm gonna show you in this video. So this first product was sent to me earlier this week with someone who was confused why the product they were looking at did not match the reviews. So this one here is an anti-snoring chin strap. And it looks a really promising product. It's got 559 ratings and an average score of 4.7. So for anyone that doesn't dive too deep into this, this seems like a logical product to buy if this is the sort of thing that you are looking for. You know, it's quite cheap, it's 1099, it's got a good review score and it's got lots of ratings, great. The problem is this is all fake. So let's click on to the ratings and let's see what these reviews say about this chin strap. So uh, here we go. We've been wanting one of these mixing glasses for a while. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a chin strap. Uh, this is solid and looks good. I wish I'd bought a larger one. This is great for two, but if you want to make three or more drinks, you'll have to make two batches. This mixing glass is as expected. So these reviews are for a completely different product. So what is going on here? Well, if we scroll back to the top, this product has variations. So you've got three different colors of the product that are actually, or three different types of anti snore products. And then this fourth variation here is the mixing glass. So this is a new method that I've seen scam sellers using to inflate the ratings for the products that they are selling because what Amazon does is combines all of the ratings from all of the variants to give you an overall score. So this looks like all of these products are great with a 4.7 average and 559 reviews. Well actually, they are all for this mixing glass. None of them are for these variations for a completely different product. And if you click on this, you will see if I hide my head a second, look at the seller there. The seller is ZJ Blue Co. And that is the same seller for all of these sleep related variations. But if we click on the mixing glasses, it's a completely different seller. So let me just pop the video back on. So this product, this seller here probably has no idea that this other seller has taken their product, has put a parent listing together and added their product as a variant child listing to that parent listing so that they can take advantage of their review scores. So from a customer perspective, they think they're buying a good product when actually the reviews are for a completely different product. And why Amazon allow this to happen is, is just beyond me. They should surely be able to detect this. Having variants from different sellers Come on, this should be so easy to detect. So that is a new way that I've seen scam sellers doing this recently. So be very careful when you see review counts, if there are variants, which variant the reviews are coming from. And if we go to Helium 10, we can actually run a tool called Review Insights, which will break down the number of reviews per variant. So there are actually four variants on this listing and only two of them actually have 
reviews. So the other two don't have reviews yet. And you can see 43 of them are from the mixing glass and two of them are from the first variant and both of those are one star. So it's very obvious to see this is a complete scam listing for those first three variants. This is also a super useful tool if when you're doing product research, you're trying to decide which color or which design style, or which size to go for, and all of the existing products have got variants. You can go through and look at the review insights to see which product is likely or which variant is likely selling more based on the number of reviews that they have. So it's a good tool and well worth checking out. Now this next product or this next niche I'm still shocked this goes on. I've raised this before a couple of years ago. Yeah, Amazon still allow this to go on. So a few weeks ago, I bought an air fryer and I wanted to get a cookbook, an air fryer cookbook to go with it to give me some recipe ideas. So I hit up Amazon as I do for most products. But what I was faced with was basically a list of books that had all used scam reviews to make them sound like they're good books when actually they weren't. And within this front page of results, there's probably only one or two genuine listings. And you can tell just by looking at these covers, these types of covers are all the same. They all look very scammy. This one's different, but this looks scammy because they've all following the same sort of style. And let me prove to you with the reviews that they are actually scam listings. Well, they're not scam listings because you will get a book if you order it, but the book itself will be very, very poor quality and the reviews are all fake, so they're misleading you into buying these books. So if we go over to the right-hand column and look at the creation dates, look how many of these have been created within the past month or so. So March, April, even some in May. Yet somehow they've got you know nearly 300 views, 1,440, 175, 500 views. They're literally launching these products and they've got a few hundred views out the gate. And Amazon doesn't think this is suspicious. I mean, what is going on? So let's just take this one here, for example, 323 reviews launched on the 19th of April. Let's click onto it. And let's click onto the ratings. Funnily enough, they're averaging 4.9 stars. And anyone that sells on Amazon, if you've got a product that averages 4.9, you're a miracle worker because maintaining that average is impossible. So if you ever see a product that high, it's going to be scam reviews very, very likely. So let's click on these 324 ratings and see how many reviews we've actually got. So we've got a handful of reviews to look through. But look at this. Look at that. Look at that breakdown here. 97% five stars. So let's talk this by most recent. As usually when it's a scam listing, the most recent ones will actually be the genuine ones because customers are actually buying the book and starting to leave their feedback. So the first red flag is look at these three star and one star misleading subtitle total waste of money. But if we scroll down and go to all reviews, we can see that out of 324 ratings, there's only actually 24 reviews. And if you read the five-star reviews, most of them do sound very, very fake. But the clear evidence, if we use a tool called Keeper, we can see the review total over time. So let me just show you this as this is very, very helpful. If we take off rating and just leave it as review count, look at this, this product launched and out of the gate had 326 reviews. And then Amazon took one away, and then it started to go up, and then it's coming back down. So Amazon are clocking that some of these are fake reviews and starting to remove them. But the damage is done. They're already listed on page one for when someone search air fryer cookbook. They're getting a huge amount of sales. Now, how do I know this is fake? Well, let me show you one that isn't fake. Now, I know this one has the highest amount of reviews, but it's actually from someone who is fairly famous on social media and they've launched this book recently. And if we go to the same thing, look at this here. This is what it looks like if it is legit. You'll see the review count steps up over time. Look at that line, that looks very, very legit. So when a product launches with three or 400 reviews and they're there as soon as the product launches, is clearly a scam. So Amazon, why are you allow, allowing this? If a product launches with a few hundred reviews, it's not hard to code an algorithm to detect that and to stop it happening and to stop this type of fake scam listing products taking over a listing because it does make customers lose faith. I'm losing faith. Trying to buy some, something as simple as an air fryer cookbook should be a straightforward experience. I shouldn't have to go through the reviews of many, many products and use my years of experience of selling on Amazon to highlight which products are actually legit and which ones are fake. 
And the third niche I wanna show you is the wireless earbud niche. And the reason I wanna show you this is the cookbook niche is mainly KDP products. So this, these are products that anyone can launch within 24 hours. And that's why KDP for many people isn't a good business model as if you have a successful book, people can replicate it very, very quickly as you literally update in or upload in a design with some content and then your book's ready to launch. Where when you're actually selling products, there's a much bigger barrier to entry. So that's why doing private label is still, in my opinion, the superior business model when you're using Amazon FBA. But anyway, so these are actual physical products. And let's see if we've got exactly the same issue as we were seeing in the KDP niche. So uh, let me just filter out the sponsored, actually no, I'm gonna leave the sponsored results on this. If you're a scam seller, I'm gonna click on your advert. So I've sorted these by creation date. These were launched on the 22nd of April, so less than a month ago. And they have apparently 1,537 reviews already. I doubt that. Let's click on their sponsored link because I'm feeling like being a bit of an ass today. And they've got a 4.8 average for a £12.99 set of wireless earbuds. Very, very unlikely. Let's click on to the ratings, see if we can see what the most recent ones say. Well, I've actually got one review from the UK. I don't like it. Product quality is not good. One star. The rest of it are from other countries. But if you look closely, I'm very pleased with these envelopes. <laughs> Perfect for small business. I'm personally running a small lash business and won't lie, I was looking for a different size. So I was hesitating to buy these because I'm not sure if everything will fit, but I'm surprised. At least four pairs of lashes fit. So I'm guessing this is an envelope product. And it says here, I'm happy to say the air bubbles in these are much fuller than any of the 25 packs I've bought. So this is basically a listing hijacking. They've taken over an existing listing. So it's not using variant to push up the account. It's actually hijacking an existing listing and this product launches. And if we go to the same tool that I showed you earlier, you can see when they launched, or should I say when this product reappeared in the Amazon search results, because what it looks like often with these types of products is they're sold in other countries. And then the sellers are somehow getting them to appear in Amazon UK. So this suddenly appears with 1,533 reviews and they go straight to this top of the sales chart and we're probably doing thousands of sales per month. So if me as an Amazon seller and an Amazon customer is starting to lose faith in the review system, the product review system, surely other customers are gonna be losing faith as well. So Amazon, you have to act on this. This isn't all just about it being an unfair market for sellers. It's not a good customer experience either. So I hope you guys found that helpful. What I'm gonna do now is pop up a video showing you guys how I found 25 products in less than a week. So if you're thinking about starting at Amazon FBA, I'll see you guys over there.